All right, so let's put some of these beams in. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If we take a look at sort of an image of how those beams go in, they have these long perimeter beams and a couple of cross beams, uh, but it's pretty simple. Um, here's the layout of it. So we have the exterior beams that kind of cantilever out. This one, of course, going the full length, and then a couple of perpendicular ones at the ends. Okay, so let's go ahead and place those in. All right, the first thing I want to do is go to my roof plan. And I want to change, again, a couple of the view range settings for the roof plan. So make sure nothing is selected. So it says, you know, floor plan over here. Come down to your view range and edit it. And we're going to change the bottom to level one and we're also going to change the view depth to level one so we can see down below and also select things down below. So just click OK and go ahead and set your visual style right now to wireframe and now you can sort of see all the things that are happening below there. Um, Alright so let's go ahead and, and put those beams in. Go ahead and go to your structure and beam here under the structure panel and go to your pull down and down at the bottom should be a wide flange 12 by 16. So this is the beam that we're going to use. It's going to place it up here on level roof plan. You can change the structural usage if you want up here to a girder. Um, not overly important. Um, you can chain it or not chain it. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and chain it. And then what we're going to want to do is, and we don't have to get this exact, um, but you definitely want to be on the grid lines. So if you want to just left click up here and then left click, you know, at this intersection, because we know the beam is there, then it's going to want to draw another one. And this one kind of overhangs somewhat. So I'm not sure. You can kind of, maybe it's at 80 feet. And we'll just left click there, right? And then if you hit escape, you can then come in and this one goes all the way through. So you can start drawing from this point and draw all the way down, you know, to the equal where it sort of see if it'll line up with the end of that. There, not quite, but we can fix that later. Then you can hit escape again, just singly and go ahead and draw a beam from there to that point. Hit escape single again and there's one over here somewhere. I can't remember. We can always move it later but just put another beam in right there. Okay and go to the modify to stop the command. Now you can go to your um, 3D structure view and you can see right that those beams have been placed in there. We can double check to see Okay, that one's there. Oh, there's one down there that I didn't put in, right? So you can go back and sort of adjust, you know, that one needs to be in there. We may need to make some adjustments to it later, depending on how accurately, you know, it looks like this one actually comes out past, you know, looks like there might need to be another column in there, I'm guessing. Um, another set of columns, which may be the case. Let's go ahead and go back to our roof plan because we definitely need at least one more beam. Yeah, right from there. Whoops, I think I got off my line. Right from there to there. Okay, go in. Look at that again in our 3D structure view. And we'll leave it for there right now. It looks like this one needs to move over, have some adjustments made to it, um, but you can make those as you see fit. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to put in a, a joist system. Um, that's not necessary in this because that those T roofs span that 20 feet, but I, um, in the next installment I just want to go ahead and show you how to do that. Alright, I'll be back in a minute.